What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to show you the difference between the 1080p and 1440p screen and uh, whether the 1440p screen is worth it at this point or not. So for that actually I need to show you both the advantage and disadvantage. In order to show the disadvantage first I have to bring in the Sony Xperia Z2 as well and let me open the Facebook app and if I go to the menu or uh, whatever you like to call on the right uh, side button and if you look at my profile uh, picture you will uh, find that the LG G3 picture is blurry whereas the Z2 picture is uh, perfectly sharp. This is uh, because the app is not optimized for the 1440p screen of uh, LG G3. You might not be able to notice the difference through the camera but uh, in reality through the naked eye the difference is uh, too much and it's very noticeable. So some apps or rather many apps are not uh, still optimized for 1440p screen. And now this is Chrome. I have opened the CNN.com mobile uh, website and if I look at the text at the bottom, the text on the LG G3 looks uh, fuzzy at the bottom. If you look at the the navigation um, text the like CNN home about CNN and full site on LG G3 it's blurry and whereas uh, on Z2 it's uh, perfectly sharp and uh, no issues here so there are uh, every now and then there are uh, differences uh, or uh, places where you will notice that uh, some things are not optimized for uh, such screen and now let's talk about some of the advantages that you will see on the LG G3 or any other uh, 1440p screen phone like the S5 Advance or the Find 7. The most difference you will notice is on the pictures and the videos. And for example on the Facebook also you will uh, notice that the pictures are sharper. You might not be able to see the difference through the camera but even if you look at the water and the background you will find it is more sharp on LG G3 as compared to the Z2. Same is the case here that uh, LG G2 picture is sharper. Once again you will uh, find uh, the same thing here. Some of the photos will uh, show you big difference some will show you less difference. For example if you look at the cone and the wings of the butterfly you will uh, notice that uh, it is noticeably sharper on the G3 as compared to Z2. Same is the case here you will uh, find the cone is uh, sharper and also if you look at the wings of the bug over here you will uh, find that it's more detailed and more sharper on the G3. Same is the case uh, with this photo. So here again you can notice that the bug and also the leaf or stem whatever it is is more sharper on the G3 and here the difference is much more apparent if you look at uh, the stem and the caterpillar you will uh, find that the G3 looks uh, perfectly sharp whereas the photo on the Z2 looks a little bit out of focus the reason is it's actually sharper on the G3 screen it is the same photo it's not uh, out of focus on Z2 but the difference of sharpness is uh, totally different uh, especially in this photo and the difference is pretty clear on this photo. Once again uh, in this uh, photo you can uh, witness the cone and the wings are much more sharper. Even if I zoom in you will still find the LG G3 much more sharper on uh, this photo and uh, Z2 is also sharper but not as sharp as LG G3. So let's compare the 4K video playback. This is not a very good example but uh, right now there are not too many down downloadable uh, 4K content so it will at least show you some uh, difference between the two devices. You might not be able to catch that difference on the camera but uh, difference is there and you will uh, notice that uh, some of the scenes are uh, sharper and more detailed on, Z3 on the G3 screen. You will find actually many people talking that uh, they are not able to see any difference but that's actually not true. The difference is noticeable but it is not as noticeable as the difference between the 720p and 1080p screen. Still the LG G3 
screen looks uh, much sharper as compared to other 1080p screens but uh, there are only very few areas uh, where you will find the difference like uh, the photos and the videos at the moment and you will not find uh, much difference in other apps uh, or uh, the text as well the text uh, has a very small differences in uh, some places like the chrome but it's not uh, that much noticeable until unless you put the devices side by side at the moment i don't think the 2k screen is worth it because uh, not many apps are optimized uh, for such a screen and also the processor inside the lg g3 is same as uh, it is uh, in the z2 or s5 or on the htc1 m8 which at times actually does uh, struggle a little bit uh, but uh, not too much but little bit uh, the performance does suffer a little bit at times even while uh, using the apps as well so i don't think the 2k screen is uh, worth it at the moment especially the performance hit uh, your device will get and uh, in the future there will be better uh, batteries and uh, better processors to support the highly packed uh, high resolution screens then uh, i think it is a better decision to move uh, to a higher resolution screen however uh, having said that the lg g3 has some other advantages over some of the other rival devices like the z2 or htc1 m8 and s5 so if you are considering those advantages then uh, you can consider lg g3 but don't consider lg g3 on the basis of screen only so i hope uh, that you have enjoyed the clip and also you have enjoyed the demonstration so thanks for watching the video take care and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel see you bye